hi everybody and welcome back to my channel we have some questions here that I'm just gonna go through so the first question is what are your dreams for your family in the next five years and that's a great question so I think that our number one goal for this season is to get completely out of debt I've already shared a little bit about that and we have a little bit more credit card debt that we're working on paying off but it's going really well and I would say that's probably our number one goal for now and then for the next five years after we get out of debt um, Mike has a lot of dreams for businesses that he wants to start and we definitely do not want to be living in a camper long term so we would need to create more revenue streams, uh, more streams of income that would support a different lifestyle. So I would say that we would have dreams of running businesses and Mike being financially independent and um, those are our dreams. So we'll have to see how that goes and how God brings all of that to fruition, but those are definitely high on our priority list. The next question is where do you want to be and I assume that means um, location. We're most likely going to be staying in Sacramento. It seems like God has led us here to stay and I do not foresee us leaving Sacramento anytime soon. But that's not to say that God will do something different but that's what we are planning at the moment the next question is would you like more children and i would say absolutely i do want more children i don't know how many we'll have i don't know yeah i don't know how many but i definitely want to have more kids and the next question is would you stay at home to raise them yes that is definitely my plan and goal i want to stay at home to raise my kids and our long-term dream and vision is for Mike to be home as well but yeah like I said we'll have to see how that goes and the next question is do you have family nearby or close friends to help you um, the only family members that we have close to us right now is my brother-in-law and his wife um, other than that, all of our family is in other states or um, down in close to the LA area or in Southern California. Um, I have family in many states. I do have close friends nearby to help. Right now, everybody has their own jobs and everybody is busy with their own things that I can't really depend on anybody to watch Liam for me. We do have family and close friends. The next question is how will you heat the trailer in winter? So we, yeah, the heater that is built into the camper actually works and it runs on propane. So we'll have to see if we actually use that. We do have an electric one. We live in Sacramento, so it does not get very cold here at all in winter I don't think it ever hits freezing and for sure not below freezing so I don't think we have to worry about getting very cold here and we had spent the winter last some last winter in Southern California and it was fine like we it got a little cold but if you run the heater it warmed up and it was fine like we don't spend the winter in a place where it gets freezing cold and then the other question was is your camper insured if a tornado hit? Again, I would say we live in Sacramento, so it's not really tornado country here. What we would worry about more here is earthquakes. As far as insurance goes, Mike said that the camper would be under the insurance of the vehicle that's pulling it. So I'm not really sure exactly how that would work. When we lived in Southern California last winter, I actually fell an earthquake. It was while Mike was out doing DoorDash and Liam had just gone to bed and so everything was still. I was the only one that was walking and I remember distinctly feeling everything shake. In the news it said that there was an earthquake over that time so I knew that I had actually felt it. Earthquakes generally are not that bad here so I guess I'm just not really worried about it because we have I've lived in California for a lot of my life so I'm not really worried about it too much. 
Do you have favorite foods or meals to cook often or foods that my family likes me to cook frequently? So I have quite a few cooking videos that I've already made and I can link some of them below because I include a lot of our favorite meal recipes in that video. Um, but if you're looking to try new recipes, I will be coming out with more videos and more recipes in the future and also what I do if I'm looking for a new recipe I go on Pinterest and I search for really anything like any recipe in general and I just look for one that looks affordable and that looks easy and I guess you can just tailor that to your needs or your preferences just look for new recipes that's literally what I do and then whichever one that we like the most after experimenting, I just save that one and keep it in my rotation. Next question, do we have currently current family holiday traditions or any new ones that we're looking to add? So for holiday traditions, I would say that we normally make cookies over Christmas, do a lot of fall baking, and we like to give gifts over Christmas, we like to decorate for Christmas, and stuff like that and we actually didn't introduce Liam to Santa yet we're not really interested in Santa very much as far as teaching him if you have kids listening to this you might want to skip this part so I'm not really interested in telling him that Santa yeah. is real I don't want to lie to him so I think that for the most part we would just have Santa be like a fun Christmas person, a, just like a fun part of Christmas, but not be like, oh, Santa brought you this gift. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not interested in doing that. But I think that all that to say that I think this year we would probably introduce him to Santa as just like a fun Christmas thing more than lying to him and telling him that Santa's real. And then another thing that I want to do this year is take him to a pumpkin patch. I do not celebrate Halloween, but I think that pumpkins and scarecrows and, you know, fall vibes are fine as long as it's not anything creepy or spooky or anything like that. So I would like to take him to a pumpkin patch but I would say that probably encapsulates our family traditions. And then the last question, I really love this question. Somebody asked if I have any favorite YouTube channels and I do, I have quite a few of them. So I can link them all below, but I like to follow Ashley Hetherington. She recently moved to LA and I've been really enjoying following her faith journey of obedience and her content is really inspiring and it's spirit filled and I just really enjoy that. And her friend that she lives with has a podcast. It's called Christ with Coffee on Ice. And I've been really enjoying listening to that. It's just so good and rich and deep. And it really resonates with me. So I can link those below. And then you have probably heard of Ryan Trahan. Because he's like one of the top YouTubers right now. But I really enjoy watching his videos. They're just like so wholesome and um fun they're hilarious um whenever we watch them we just end up laughing like crazy they're so good and then his wife Haley also has a channel and she makes book content so i love to read as you probably know already so i like to follow her and watch her videos they're really good and then um another booktuber uh sarah caroli i don't really know how you pronounce her name but she has a great channel and um, she, I might have said that, she's a booktuber so she talks about books and I really enjoy her content as well. And then Jane Williamson, I just love her so much because I hate, well I don't hate the people but I hate the content that's fake. I hate the content that's like just put on a show for the camera. Like, I like YouTubers who actually show things authentically and organically, and her content is so genuine and funny and relatable. Her short videos are hilarious. She puts on a lot of skits and pretends to be this influencer who is, like, super perfect and has everything together and 
it's just hilarious. I really appreciate her content. And uh, Daily Dose of Internet, you probably have heard of them too. Um, Mike and I like to watch those videos together. And a channel called Tatiana's Everyday Food. I really like to follow her channel. She has cooking videos. Um, and then something that I like to do sometimes, not very often, is play Minecraft. And I craft MC. I think MC would stand for Minecraft. I like that channel for teaching Minecraft tutorials and Minecraft how-tos. I just really appreciate that channel. And I think there are actually quite a few more that I like to watch. But I'm not going to include all of them. I think those are probably my top favorites. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next video.